so in this video again we're going to do that one more print pattern so in this one now we have to print that same number one all those places so if i enter row number three then i need only one one to print in this format and similarly i will use that two for loop because we have two values so now i need to use that two loops so now we will understand that as we know again the other part is that if it's the range it's not going to consider that last part so it's going to exclude that inside and similarly here since we entering three we are not getting loop for the three reason behind that it's starting with the zero and it will go till two so now we'll move back to our code so similarly now again we have to enter that number so we'll take it now the the number of rows and then now we got that number of rows so now we need to do that print so this time i will use that one variable k equals to 1 i will assign it and i will explain why i need that sorry then i will go for the for loop for i in range a range of n and then for j in range of we going to use again from 1 comma i plus 2 and then print it that so this time we going to print that k and then we we'll put that in the space so now we will try to understand what i did so this time since if we go and see in this slide all those places i need to print only one not any other value so here i had coded at one and then i am doing that loop so this loop will what it will do so if you try to understand what that i is doing that outer loop so outer loop is responsible for creating this loop. number of rows how many rows will be there So due to this three, it's going it here, and now similarly this also going to be number of columns. So we have one column, we have two column, we have three column. But first time one, second time two, third time three. That's why if we go with that inside loop for the J, so it's going to work for this one, and we putting plus two, so that we can print that, and we starting with one. So now we just try and see that how it's going to work. First, I will do that here. Oh, sorry, my bad. Since I run that code now, now I enter three. So see now we got that three. If we enter three, we got that same output. So I hope you like this video. 